Visual Studio Code is widely used nowadays for writing software. It is highly extensible and there are a lot of contributors that create useful extensions for it to give this editor superpowers. It's not a joke, you can really speed up your development with these tools and enhance the contribution with teammates. Here is my top 10 extensions that you should try in VS Code. Number 10. GitLens. GitLens is an open source extension that combines the capabilities of Git and VS Code. One of the best features of this extension is the ability to visualize code ownership via Git blame annotations and code lens. You can also navigate in the history of a file back and forth to see the changes that were made on it. With the current line blame, you have the ability to click on a single line in the code and you can see the last commit that modified it and you also get a link to the pull request that introduced that change. Overall, a really useful tool if you use Git as your version control system. Number 9. Live Server. Oh, I really wish this extension existed when I started to learn web development. It spins up a light Node.js server and serves your HTML file and all assets from the given directory. On top of that, any save changes you make to your website will be reflected immediately in the browser, which gives a really fast and enjoyable developer experience. You can find this function in tools for modern frameworks and libraries like Angular and React, but with this extension you can have the same functionality in any web development project. Number 8. Import cost. You know that feeling when you look at npm's website, see a cool package, install it immediately and import it into your project? So do I. The problem is that we often don't think of the overhead that it can cause. This is why this little extension is so important. It enables you to track the size of the imported packages and libraries so you can control the amount of code size that you import. Especially in web development, you should mind every single byte you import as they will negatively affect the load speed of your site and may harm user experience and even SEO rankings. Number 7. Prettier. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter which you can set up according to your preferences. It just simply formats your code and it is really beneficial to have a consistent formatting and styling across your code because it can save you a lot of time, especially when you collaborate with other developers. You can use Prettier plugins to further enhance the capabilities of this extension and you can also make it format your code automatically when you save a file. Number 6. Icons. This is not a specific extension, rather a collection of extensions. If you install an icon extension, VS Code will show little icons before your directory and file names. Every file extension will have its custom icon, which makes it 10 times easier to navigate in the code and find the file or folder that you searched for. Even directories can have their specific icons based on their names and purpose. My go-to option is Material Icon Team, but there are other really cool ones like VS Code icons, simple icons, material team icons. Find out which one suits you the most. Number 5. Mark them all in one. Writing documentation is part of the developer job, whether you like it or not. The most commonly used markup to write documentations or even blog posts is Markdown. Markdown all in one makes this process more enjoyable by providing useful shortcuts, autocomplete and live preview features. It really speeds up documentation writing, so you can get back to developing new features much faster. If you enjoy the content, please consider hitting the like button below. And now let's get back to our list. Number 4. Better Comments. Better comments help you write more human-friendly, readable comments. Comments help you understand your own and others' code. This extension helps to visually organize your comments, so it will be much more digestible. You can categorize your annotations to highlight text, errors and warnings, questions, strike through and to do. With these formatted annotations being visually separated, you won't miss out on any must-read comments. Before we move into the top 3, let me share a few honorable mentions that didn't make it to the list this time but might be worth checking it out for yourself. Pet Intelligence is a great tool which makes it easier to work with files. It autocompletes file names, 
and can be really useful if you work with lots of node modules, Ident Rainbow is another great extension that helps you navigate in your code. It colors the identation space before your code with a separate color based on the width of the identation. I suggest trying out this one and bracket colorizer and choose one of them. One Monokai theme is my go-to option when it comes to syntax highlighting colored themes. It uses a Monokai color theme to colorize your code. Of course, there are a lot of syntax highlighting themes in the extension store, so feel free to choose the one that you like the most. Profile Switcher is a really good profile manager for VS Code. You can save different profiles with different editor settings and extensions. Then you can switch between them using only one command. It is useful if you, for example, work with Python and JavaScript, but you would like to use different settings and extensions for each. Also, it is really useful for content creators like myself. Setting Sync takes care of saving your preferences, extensions, and everything that you set up in VS Code and saves it to GitHub. So if you have to work on a new hardware, you don't have to modify the settings from zero, set up your keyboard shortcuts, download and set up every extension that you had, just load your settings from GitHub instead with one command. It can save you a lot of time and effort. Number 3. Snippets. This is again not a single extension, but a collection of extensions. Using code snippets is a really good way to save time during development and increase productivity. For example, if you use React and install the ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native snippet, you can simply type RFC and hit enter to import React and create a functional component. You can also find code snippets extensions for Angular, Vue, Python, HTML, and a lot more. Number 2. Bracket Pair Colorizer. This extension matches corresponding brackets with the same color. Having nested components, functions, objects in a file can become confusing with multiple parentheses and brackets. It can be really hard to differentiate between the different code blocks at first glance. And this is why this extension is so awesome. By colorizing your brackets and parentheses, it makes navigation much easier and accessible. Number 1. Auto Rename Tag. This is a must have extension for web developers. As the name suggests, it automatically renames the second tag if the first one is modified, and vice versa. In bigger projects, where you have nested tags and elements, manual update can be difficult and tedious. And the great thing is that it works with JSX, so you can use it with React. And this is my top 10 VS Code extensions in 2021. Do you agree with the list? What would be in your top 10 that I didn't mention? Please leave the answers in the comment section down below. I see you guys in the next video.